Hey guys, thank you for joining me, Stanley, on Saturday. Um, you know, yesterday talked a, a lot about Star Wars. Just got to watch Star Wars Episode Nine, and um, if you want my take on Star Wars, I uh, will include spoilers, but go check out the Friday video. There's a spoiler-free section at the beginning, um, and then I really dive into uh, what happens in the movie and my take on it. But today I wanted to discuss kind of a, a philosophical controversy that I heard that is connected to Star Wars. Um, it's something that I know, especially in high school, came up for me. And um, it's always kind of sat in the back of my mind. Of my mind. It's, it's really bothered me. Um, but, you know, I want us to uh, take a moment to think about it. I know I, I did grow up as the prequels were being released. And... I'd already seen the original Star Wars movies before the prequels, so I did know what really good Star Wars movies were like, and um, while the acting in the prequels was not good, um, I don't I don't think the prequels are as bad as some people make them out to be. They were you know decent ways to move the story along. Uh, now the the story and the acting weren't, weren't all that great, but it did give you the story of how Darth Vader came into existence. Um, but one thing that happens with the prequels, um, so you have in Star Wars, um, in the, the original movies, you have the, the Jedi who are part of the light side of the Force. They're the Force for good. Then you have the, the Sith, and they're part of the dark side of the Force, and that's evil. And then you get to the prequels, and there are tons of Jedi, and there's only a couple Sith. There's, there's a rule that there should only be two Sith. And if there are any more than that, then they're going to be fighting each other. And there was this prophecy that someone would bring balance to the Force. And what ends up happening is that Anakin Skywalker becomes Darth Vader, kills off almost all of the Jedi, and there's this lament at the end of... Um, episode 3, the last part of the prequels, there's this lament that Anakin was supposed to bring balance to the Force, and instead he destroyed it. And it, it became kind of popular, especially in high school, to be like, oh, he did bring balance to the Force, because now there's an equal amount of good and evil. Like It's, it's all balanced out, and that's what kind of balance means. Like You can't have too much good, you can't have too much evil. And there's this sense it kind of is still around like you know if if it's just good if there's just goodness then things are boring dull there's no fun there's no excitement everything is just kind of bland and plain if there's just goodness there has to be a little bad mixed in and I think some of that comes from our, our misunderstanding of what's good. Um, I mean, we, we get this idea of what, what's good and what's bad. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, you know, it's, you know, you think of heaven as like, oh, you're sitting on a, on a cloud playing a little harp. And, well, of course that seems very boring. Um, you get the sense of like, you know, oh, you're, you're good. You're not, you're not going out having fun. Fun. You're not enjoying yourself. There are so many of these things that are, are fun and enjoyable that are bad. And how dare you possibly entertain any of those? Um, and so it's like you have to add a little bit of bad in there, or else you're not really having fun. But we've we've talked on this. Uh, on the videos that I've been posting before about how uh, the the real definitions of good and bad or good and evil that Christianity uses is that something is good to the extent that it exists or brings about existence and something is bad or evil to the extent that it takes away existence, it moves something toward nothingness. And if that's the case... Why would we want any bad at all? Because it just means that there's 
less there. It just makes everything less when it's evil. Oh. And I was super happy that at the end of Star Wars Episode Nine, and yes, this is going to be a huge spoiler, at the end of Star Wars Episode Nine, the Jedi win. Good triumphs over evil. And you leave Star Wars Episode Nine with evil being wiped out. And they're only being really good. And there, there are some other signs that, that maybe this is actually the, the direction that Star Wars is really wanting to go in. You know, signs that there's, there's still good in Darth Vader. And Darth Vader sees the Emperor killing Luke Skywalker. And, and this good that's there kind of comes back. Um, and again, um, again, another spoiler with Kylo Ren. He eventually turns to good. He eventually is like, can't fully allow himself to go toward that kind of nothingness and, and fall away into nothing of evil. He, there was still something good in him that he hadn't given up. The, the good had this way of triumphing over evil in most people's life when you gave them the chance. And even in the Star Wars universe now, good has has ultimately triumphed. Good ultimately won. And I don't know why we want there to be some evil, some something wrong. It's like we complain about all of the pain we experience and all of the suffering that we experience, all the, the horrible things that people do, but we don't honestly want that stuff to go away because that's that's what makes life fun. That stuff isn't what makes life fun. The best moments are when those things aren't on our minds. The, the best moments are when we are truly alive and they're, we're not in the midst of suffering, we're not in the midst of pain, we're, we're in the midst of truly living out who we should be. And maybe there's competition, but it's not evil, it's not suffering. Maybe there's a struggle, but it's not betrayal, it's not pain. It's like we, we like to think that, oh, we need a little bit of evil. We need a little bit of, of uh, bad to make things fun and make things interesting. But like, we don't want those things when it comes to the things and the people that matter the most. You know, keep the, the bad around for, for when you can have a little bit of fun. But don't allow evil into the world when it matters the most. We're, when the stakes are raised, we don't want that because we ultimately know what that means. Listen, a little bit of bad, a little bit of evil, going a little bit into the the forbidden stuff. That's not what being fun is about. You know, I really think that if we <clears throat> pushed away all of the bad and the evil and our conceptions of what is bad and evil if we if we tried to push those things away and became truly good i think things would be more fun there'd be better comedy there'd be uh, you know better creativity there there'd be more individuality we would be we would see things as as different and as, as better and there'd be more advancements because what's good is good. It, it's not, well, it's, it's, you know, kind of good, but, you know, there's a lot that's not really good about it. Like, no, it's, it's good. And I, I was really excited for the, the end of the Star Wars movie when everything was made right. When, when goodness won. It's like Star Wars 
said, you know, hey, we kind of pushed this thing out there about good and evil. And they have this original thought in the first one, you know, that the Empire gets defeated, the rebels won, and you know, goodness prevailed over evil in the, in the original core movies. And then the prequels muddied everything um, in a lot of in a lot of thinking for the worse, although it did describe how evil became so prominent in a world. Um, but then it's like, this was like the definitive statement on good. Good triumphs over evil. The way that Jesus puts it is, in this world you will face troubles, but take heart, for I have overcome the world. There's nothing in creation that can separate us from God's love. That at the end of the book of Revelation, with all the suffering and the pain that's gone on, you see Jesus, the Lamb that was slain, coming down from heaven and putting all of creation to right. And I long for that to happen. And I long for a time when evil isn't mixed in with all of this stuff. Because evil doesn't make anything any better. Being a little bit bad doesn't make anything better. We should be so incredibly, purposefully good that we make everything around us better. Because that's the only way that things are better is by having more and more goodness. I'm super excited to see uh, Star Wars answer this philosophical question and um, come out on the side that I think is right. Of course, uh, there are a lot of mixed opinions about the last Star Wars movie, so again, uh, I will mention the last video. If you want to post yours, posters about your thoughts with the good and evil in Star Wars, I, you know, I'd love to see those. Thank you guys for joining me for another Saturday with Stanley. God bless you guys.